what does netnography refer to? Net netnography is a short form for ethnography conducted online or in the online world. I decided to have a distinct word for netnography because it refers to an adaptation of ethnography which was different enough from the way that uh, ethnography was conducted by traditional anthropologists to require some specific terminology because uh, traditional ethnography conducted face-to-face -face has certain abilities and certain limitations that really change when we take things into the online world. In the online world we have automatic archiving for example. Uh, we have uh, communications that are changed by the technological uh, mediation of the culture and the community. We have uh, a, a different levels of accessibility. It's very easy to join an online group, many public online groups across the globe. You can have a, a billion members uh, in a personal group, in, an, in a local culture. You can't have that. So the way that you would conduct an ethnography online is going to be very, very different from the way that you would do anthropology in the physical world. Therefore, I thought we needed a signifier that talked about uh, those rules and made them specific and offered uh, guidelines that people could go back to and refer to and create a body of work around that was specific and that we could locate in a, in a particular area and with the sort of a, you know using a, a Twitter-esque way with a single hashtag you could get all that uh, information together in one place and that's what netnography is think of it as hashtag netnography so if you're interested in what netnography is and what it can do for, for contemporary business, uh, netnography is basically about bringing a cultural and a social understanding to a cultural and social phenomenon. We call uh, social media social media, and yet we study it using a lot of abstract uh, methodologies like data mining and content analysis, which suck out a lot of the cultural content and suck out a lot of the deep, rich context of the online environment and its sociality and its cultural qualities. Uh, in a corporate context, I've been involved over the last 12 years or so with bringing that cultural understanding into the market research process in a number of companies. An example of that might be some work that I did for a large American financial institution that wanted to understand in order to innovate around a, a new credit product. Uh, they wanted to understand the global market and they wanted to understand a specific local market. So what I did working with anthropologists at, in four different countries speaking four different languages, we collected uh, uh, data in these uh, local environments around that particular credit product, around that particular financial industry, and then we looked at it on a local level and compared across a global level, used that information that we'd found about where, what new ideas were used, what common uh, meanings were there, what common trends and trajectories there were, uh, what sort of rituals existed, and then we used that as the raw material of consumer insight that we brainstormed new product innovations for particular local markets and also to extend out to global markets. So that cultural understanding, that, that nuanced location of the intersection of financial products, of consumer tastes, and of local markets was really useful for this particular uh, new product innovation.